That's how we're gonna do this shit today, man. R and B game. You know what I'm saying? On the low key OG. You already know what it is in the post podcast every Saturday, man. Holly Hill Sharp. Chase drop the Bayless. My boy. A nigga Tierra. Blood the broke. Blood the broken shit, man. This shit crazy. Fuck it, man. It's a clean, it was a clean western now. It was a clean. Yeah, so it's like, what can I? I can't really do too much with the clean break. Oh, hold on, what's going on, bro? Why? Hold on, hold on, y'all. Girls all in my DM. Man, that shit crazy. That dude is good. It started from the beginning. Because that was a little, you know what I'm saying? That came with the radio edited on that bitch. The radio edited. Yeah, man. I can't really play radio edit music, man. Nigga, to get cartel. What's good, nigga? You want to hear the whole thing? Yeah, I want to hear the real. I don't, I don't like the look. I don't like that shit, man. It fuck up my vibe and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the vibe up. Just tap it. Just look it. But tap it, man. Post five Like, share. Facebook, YouTube, IG, TikTok, wherever it's at, we there. Yeah, for sure. Hey, y'all niggas need to chill, man. Y'all need to listen to these females. Y'all need to chill, bro. For real, man. These niggas gotta chill, bro. Like, this another chick tell my chick about some shit I'm doing, and she don't know. Like, she need to know for me. She don't need to know for nobody else. Y'all niggas gotta care out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, jeez, nigga. Yeah, in the post podcast playlist on YouTube and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with us, man. There's some bangers on there. There's definitely some bangers on there. We could definitely, you feel me? You can shit on there and shit. This shit crazy. This shit is crazy cause the nigga, man. Man, niggas be talking about my old life, man. Shout out to that nigga T here, man. I gotta stop with that nigga, man. R&B <laughs> girl. Yeah. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. GWDV? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? GWD? Why? No, I said GWDV. GWDV. Is that a, is that a, I need to find out. Is that like a, um, abbreviation of her name or something? I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. But I'm, this song alright though, this is a vibe, this is on the In The Post podcast as well. In The Post podcast playlist on YouTube. We got about like 300 songs on that motherfucker. All Cleveland. And, and one thing, and that thing I gotta say man. Respect to y'all, respect to y'all studios man. Respect to the studios, respect to the engineers man. Cause a lot of the music I've been hearing, man, been, been greatly engineered, man. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Yeah, we have been taking in a lot of live performances. Yeah. And the performances are they are good, but the you know the engineers bring a different vibe. Yeah, they, they bring they bring it on that song. Like so, we listen to it, you can vibe with that shit. You know? Yeah. 
So a nigga tier on everything. She on everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think she on Spotify. YouTube. You can follow her on Instagram as well. Nigga tier. Facebook, all that good shit. GWDV. She on Instagram as well. I think her music is out here everywhere. Spotify, YouTube, shit like that. You know what I mean? I mean, the people we talking about. They got more than just one song. Yeah, they got like a, they got like a, a a plethora of songs. Like, so it's like, all right, I gotta hear a plethora before I can really be rocking with that shit. Two songs is cool, and that that's that's enough to make me pay attention. Yeah. But when you got a catalog or working on a catalog, then oh shit, this is good to all right, bro. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. This is one of my personal favorites right here. I kind of like this too. Y'all yeah, really like this song. Like, this is like this little song. Like, this is some of that little, you know feel me? This is a little romantic song and shit. Like, you can play this with your late A, you feel me? Rose petals on the bed or something, you know what I'm saying? Real, real player and shit. You did. Shout out to Melody Rain. Because this like that not this like like this like this got like a little nineties type. You feel me? Like you don't really hear it. like this is kinda like a It's a real thing. Like a ballad, like if you if you if you wanna if you you know what I mean? It's like a ballad though. Like she she got some good music too. Her and a nigga Tierra just dropped a new song and shit. Together? Yeah. Okay. That was like, I wanna say like probably last week they performed in at that famous Friday, shout out to Cartel, um Shout out to nigga Sean Poe. You know what I'm saying? Big Semi was good. Um, shit, you feel me? So I think they premiered that there. But we was at the, um. We was at the, uh, Yeah, we was at the, uh, the Captain Bay for, um, a shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they both got some shit going on today as well and shit. That's good shit. I like to see my city out here getting it. Yeah. It's yeah, enough, sure. it's enough talent, enough space. Enough people, enough fans for everybody. You know what I'm saying to show the love. I'm crazy. This that little, you remember when you just hear like <laughs> We're gonna have a hell of a show today, man, you know what I mean, the post podcast, baby Hey, Saturday But see, real talk, man, we gotta, we gotta, we gonna perfect our shit too this summer Or this year, I should say Like, coming up in the next few months, we gonna have like probably We gonna have three songs at the beginning But we gonna play like half the song and shit, you know what I'm saying Cause I know like We gonna have to get one of these R&B singers up in, 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 the, in, the, in the situation soon though We have to figure it out Shout out to Melanie Ryan, we gotta figure it out See like they ain't got the whoosh, Man Man, oh geez, man, real talk, man, like, y'all are talented, like, a lot of these artists that we play are talented, but I just want to give shout-outs to all these engineers that's recording these things, that y'all really putting y'all time and effort in to make these people sound the best they could possibly sound, and we appreciate you hearing in the post. I know the people who you, who you record, they appreciate you too, my G's, and maybe ladies, I don't know, you feel me, who it is, where it is, all I know is that it's popping, so shout out to Melanie Rain, Anika Tier, GWDV, yes, GWDV, you feel me, you know said, the little pot, the little in the post spotlight this week, I'm on my R&B Gam shit, you feel me, we just on the R&B Gam shit and shit, you know what it is, fresh off Super Bowl Sunday, you feel me? Probably a week after, man. Y'all to calm down a little bit. Yeah. Y'all hopefully y'all to eat all. Hopefully y'all don't got no more of them nachos with the cheese in the motherfucking um, refrigerator, Rotate man. Toss that shit. 
Yeah, toss that Rotel dip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit though. on me, bro. I was supposed to leave all wins. Hey, that shit over, bro. Hey, toss that Rotel dip out there, man. <laughs> hey, but Pip, man, what's good, man? Talk to me. You already know how we start off every show, man. How's your week and shit? I mean, just highlight me, man. You already know what it is, nigga. You know what I'm saying? On the personal side, you know, it's been a little rough, but, uh, Rocky. Yeah. And for y'all that don't know, I ain't really been posting like I've been posting because I broke my phone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got comments and memes and other shit for y'all, but it's gonna be a little break. The morning of the ride might take a hiatus for a little while, but oh, it's coming back. So keep giving us them songs so we can put on our. Yeah, for sure. Keep giving us some songs. You know, say keep tapping in, keep tapping in. In the post podcast on Facebook, in the post podcast on Instagram, TikTok, Spotify. YouTube, did I say YouTube already? YouTube, yeah, I'll repeat it one more time. YouTube, go to End the Post Podcast on YouTube. This shit is on there right now. Man, fuck with us, man. On the tube, fuck with us on YouTube, bro. You feel me? Like, fuck with us on that YouTube shit. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm saying, man. Help, you know what I'm saying? Show us love. We show y'all love. Show us love, man. But you know what it is. So I'm I was no weak, Well, you know what it is, man. Working hard. Pushing that, push yeah, that push stone it. up the hill. Yeah, push it, push it, push it, that player shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Push it, Pete. You feel me, Paul? No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't snitching this shit. I'm a civilian and shit. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? We out here pushing Pete. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get it in. Hey, but what we thought this show would tell y'all. No, nah, matter of fact. Yeah, before I start the show, I'll tell y'all again next week. Hull of CEO 400. I'm gonna be in the building with the post podcast next yeah, week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can get that thing together now. So You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go check out on YouTube and IG. I think it's on TikTok too, you know what I'm saying? I put some of them videos, the clips up, you know what I'm saying? We had a good time. Yeah, we'll, we'll, jump, we'll jump into that a little later, but Yeah, uh, but before we even start off, I'll be remiss to say I'll be remiss for not saying shout out to you. I said shout out to Thick Baby, shout out to Party, shout out to uh Legis, Big Billy. Ray Sharp, Lotus 8-4. You know what I'm saying? Like, Protege, and the man EDH. Yeah, North Coast Kid was yeah. good, my boy. They got some shit going on tonight, motherfucker. Uh, Save Valentine's Day Massacre at the Captivate. Okay. Doors open at now. But yeah, Pip, so. You want to start off with the Super Bowl. You want to start off with the All Star shit. Uh, or. You want to start off in the city, though. Let's go ahead do a process, or we're going to go ahead with the Super Bowl. You want to start the Super Bowl? Yeah. All right. Now, hold on. Let me get the last couple shares in, because I know you've been waiting on this. Y'all been waiting on this. Y'all been waiting on it. Y'all been waiting on this. <laughs> all right, now peep game, man. As far as the game is concerned, we're gonna get to all the extra dirty shit, but let's just start off with the game. You niggas kill me, right? And y'all kill me because I feel like if something happened with y'all favorite, y'all always want to say that somebody cheating, that niggas cheating, or they never should have called this call at the end, or they shouldn't have did this. You feel me? When I see LeBron made that post. I see LeBron. And you know, Brian, that's my guy. I see LeBron make a post about that shit. What are you just three weeks ago crying about them niggas missing a foul call for the game? Wasn't that just you, bro? Like, like make it make sense, niggas. Like, as, as a whole, make it make sense. Like, people want to say that you're making excuses, yet they're making excuses for their excuse. Like, it makes no sense. Like, DJ was texting me all after that game. I'm just like, bro, listen, man, they won. He said, um, Jada Hurts, did he outplay Pat Mahomes? If you want to say that, of course, whatever. If you want to say that, whatever. But all I know is this. They was up by 10 and a half. That's all I'm going to say. Jada Hurts looked great. But that defense, <coughs> that defense ain't look as good as I thought it was going to be. Like, the Eagles defense did not look as good as I thought it was going to be in the Super Bowl and you got to give um, Eric Bieniemy, you know what I'm saying, Andy Reid, them, them niggas credit, you know what I'm saying, because of the schemes they pulled on offense to really confuse 
the Eagles. Now, I will have to say, it was a better watch, and I missed the first quarter. Or the first quarter. Yeah, I did kind of miss the first quarter too on some right. shit, because I went to go see my dad at the um, at the nursing home and shit. Then, then I had to pull it back, boom, then my girl dropped her off at her sister's shit. Then, boom, I pulled up at Mike's and shit. Shout out to Clark, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the to all the niggas and shit. To the homies, you already know. And then I watched the halftime show, and I was like. For real, I'm not really, and I'm not really, it's just don't really like it's going to be. But every time I started to get up, something happened. Like, okay, maybe it is a fight. Let me just see what the next play is. And they just, they, they wasn't going to, the Eagles just didn't lay down. But listen, bro, I thought it was over anyway. If I think it was out, I think it was down. But down bad, I thought it was over. If Pat Mahomes had come back, it would have been over. Yeah, it would have been. But I just, I, it just, it, they, they fought for it. Eagles deserve to be in this room, buddy. Yeah. Now, if they're going to make it next year, I don't know. Well, you know what I'm saying? Only time to tell. Like, it's hard for a team to make it back to back years. Like, the, 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 <coughs> the, <coughs> the Chiefs did make it back to back years, didn't they? Yeah. They won one year that they lost the next year. Yeah. Okay, but. At the end of the day, it's kind of hard for you to just, you know what I'm saying? To, to pull off to like pull that. that off. Yeah, a little back-to-back -back situation. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that. Or oh, the Buffalo um, Bills did I mean, they did it in the 90s, man. They did it in the 90s. Now, Four times. No, no, no. There's only two things I got to say about all these commercials as a whole. There were some good commercials, but there's only two things I'm going to say. For one... Fast and the Furious, <coughs> man. Like, what's this Fast and the Furious? Nine or so, I don't know how. I, I, it's, I, I'm thinking it's. I'm thinking it's like thirteen. They talking about nine <laughs> dogs, like dogs, like, bro. But the, the, the shit so action packed. The shit look crazy, bro. These niggas are rocket ships now. Man, listen, man. They got the rock, They got the. They got the two planes. Over to Toretto, motherfucker, a Vin Diesel character tied on the car, try to pull the car up like some little gravel little ships and shit. Gravel try to pull the car up. This nigga hits the shit in that in that Nas shit. You know these niggas every time they hit that Nas button on them cars. Man, this Fast and Furious shit is crazy. Now that's the what and number two, Toby. Let us, let us, let us, man, fuck it, man, sponsor us, Tubi. Let's, let's get a Tubi sponsorship. We need a Tubi sponsorship on G's. Them niggas pulled that shit off. The whole world was shit. The whole world didn't know what the fuck was going on with their TVs, bro. Tubi deserves, I think Tubi had the best, I think, hands down, man, Tubi had the best uh, motherfucking commercial, man. Tubi holding it down, man. Y'all need to go get Tubi. Y'all need to say, fuck the motherfucker. They try to tell you, hey, fuck Netflix. Fuck um Hulu. Come to Tubi and watch these Paramount. bootleg ass black movies on Tubi. All these bootleg ass <laughs> movies on Tubi. <laughs> like, 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 what is, man? It's like, oh my god, man! Like, the shit is beyond me, man. Niggas don't be wearing the same outfit, in the same scene. Yeah. You you jumped out of two different cars. You jumped out of Camaro and ran and got into a. LTD getting away. I should get away. This is crazy. <laughs> and the only last thing I got to say about the commercials is, but fucking um, Grant, Grant, um, um, Gronkowski, you need to sit your ass down. All that hoopla for that pump ass, that punk ass kick, bro. Like, and I forgot he, that shit passed me. I turned my head. I'm like, damn, that nigga kicked it already. Goddamn, that shit was corny as fuck. That shit was corny as fuck. He practiced that. That shit was corny as fuck. I guess so. They had a montage, remember? <laughs> yeah, but for real, you got to respect uh, niggas like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Frank Clark. You know what I'm saying? Glenville graduate, got his second ring. Shout out to Travis Kelsey, you know what I'm saying? Cleveland Heights, got his second ring. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? John, shout out to Jason Kelsey, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for being there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but they play good. They play good. Yeah, they like, play good. He, they, he they, got they, a they ring, too. They but he got forward. a ring, too, though. It's not like he's not no champion, bro. Jason Kelsey is a champion, too, yeah. bro. yeah. And they both play offense. They both hold offense. So it's kind of like, you can't really, you feel me? 
Like, you can't really talk too much, but I mean, they go, it's a little sibling robbery. I mean, they siblings and shit and all that good shit. But it's just like, to me, it's like that was a great game. That was one of the best Super Bowls I've seen the past five years, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the Super Bowls either been one sided, bullshit. But even or, but even when the when the Chiefs came back from down ten with like six minutes ago, that game was sloppy as hell too. That 49ers, that 49ers Chiefs Super Bowl was sloppy as fuck until the fourth quarter the Chiefs just Yeah. You feel me? But they were sloppy that whole game. I can't really say that they were sloppy because this is the thing, the defense, the was, defense doing, was doing what they were supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, but the but see that's what I'm saying, it was like that's why I had to get Andy Reid and Eric B and me credit because they found the weaknesses in their defense and exploited them when they needed them. They they did the same play with two different players back to back on these niggas for touchdowns. Like you gotta give these niggas credit. Like you gotta get the Chiefs a credit. That's a hold. I'm gonna take that every turn if I know it's there. Yeah, you gotta get the Chiefs credit, man. Shout out to Patty Ice. He ain't have a ball on a ball out game. But them niggas sure is wildin' though. You been seeing this nigga Travis Kelsey? Though? What little punt return do? Put little punt return do? What? He almost, he almost. Mmm. Little punt return do. In the game, uh, Philly nigga. Oh, yeah. He almost took that all the way back. He got within like seven, eight yards. Well, smack the fuck out of that nigga, bro. Hey, but still, as I'm saying, like shit. Man, that was a good game, man. Shout out to them Chiefs, man. You already know Pat Mahomes, Patty Ice. We coming right back. You know what I'm saying? We ain't yeah, stopping. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of knew that. That's the safe bet. That was the safe bet. But the Eagles supposed to be. Everybody wanted to go with the Eagles. The Eagles really supposed to win, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Eagles are supposed to win that game. But again, you can say whatever you want to say. You can talk about the referees. You can say whatever. But all I know is it was up by ten points. That's all I know. And it was dominating the Chiefs. But it, it, again, what I was clear favor to me for the Chiefs is that experience to know what to do when you are in this exact situation you're standing in help you deal with the situation. And he he yeah. he done been there. He has been the underdog in a win. He has lost. And now he had an opportunity to show that that first time wasn't no fucking fluke. He got experience that Jalen Hurts didn't have. Yeah, but Jalen Hurts gained a lot of experience. He I gained a whole Hurts. lot of experience. But so Hurts his next, go ahead, go around, gonna be like, yeah, yeah. I, I knew this is what happened to me the first time. I got y'all. I got y'all. The experience, that, just just that. I see teams I, on the strength that they did play a great season. I really wasn't looking at them to win. Who the Eagles? Yeah. Even throughout <laughs> their whole season, I never was like, you know what? These niggas. These niggas. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Season by season, it's just like with any sport, with anything, like season by season. Right, just because it looks like, good, don't mean Yeah, don't mean like. Like it's it's times where you got dynasties in in in, in seasons and they be like out of out maybe of whack. every like probably sometimes like in the NBA to me probably every fifteen seasons you'll have a dynasty that that will control five seasons yeah. out of every fifteen seasons you could look at that shit through the whole trajectory it's just the NBA the motherfucking NFL as well yeah. but see once we started get once I started get older like around oh three it started seeing that. Maybe like a team will go like twice, but you only see too many teams go three times in a row, four times in a row. That was like in the 90s. Bills did that in the 90s. I haven't seen a team do that yet. They go three, four times in a row, back to back to back to back. Man, NFL ain't allowing that shit. They want a new, they want some new blood in there every year. They want new blood in the Super Bowl every year. The NFL, I think they pay to have new blood in it. In the, you know what I'm saying? In the Super Bowl every year, they're gonna, you know what I mean? It's going to be a team that's never been in the Super Bowl. It's going to be a team that hasn't been to the Super Bowl in a long time in the Super Bowl. It's not going to always be the back-to-back -back teams in that Super Bowl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Chiefs went back-to-back, -back, right? The Chiefs went back-to-back, 1-1, -back, lost one. So, it'll feel like, no, nah, man, they can't go again. Cincinnati beat these niggas. So, now, niggas can say, uh, damn, man, the Chiefs can be beat and shit. So, we can rid them to suspense. So, when they do win, everybody like it. Everybody watch it. I do like sports. I do think that a lot of this shit do be real after like people put in their blood, sweat, and tears. They they put in their heart. 
to play these sports. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whether we believe it's a script or whatever the fuck we believe, I feel like people put in the work so they could be on TV, so they could, so we could see as them, as, we could see their work. You feel me? This as far as I feel like it's the script. The closest they come to a script is at the beginning of the season and they start lining up who play who. That's the most you can really control. It's too many people involved in this. Unless you have people who actively, you actively pay them to go sabotage a game. It's too many people involved to make this happen. Mm. What if somebody don't get the memo and do the wrong thing? <laughs> I mean, you think that just automatically gonna happen like that? I mean, there's too many people involved to be to be to be rigged on that level. You you got to be paying somebody to go intentionally. Football, it's too many people. But you go, you got to pay the quarterback. Everybody getting paid, nigga. They billion dollar company. You think everybody ain't getting paid, nigga? They got money to pay everybody, nigga. And then some. They ain't paying everybody, nigga. So they don't got the money to pay everybody, nigga. I mean, you pay, you pay extra money to have a nigga keep his mouth shut. What's up, man? You pay extra money to have a nigga shut the fuck up. The way these niggas like to tell everything. Oh, well, yeah, man. The internet make you want to say. Make you want to spill your whole life, your whole yeah, yeah, life story on the internet. Everything out here. So, I, the script is at the beginning of the season when they match these teams up. You know their team ain't garbage. You know these teams, half of these niggas going to be playing is going to be garbage this year. Let them work on their they Super Bowl plays. Hey, man. But if somebody muffle that shit, because they play better. Oh, yeah. That's the only, that, it, ain't, it ain't no script. Motherfuckers just want, want to be heard. I mean, I'll just tell you this, man. It may be a script, may not be a script. I don't really give a fuck about none of that. Okay? And the reason why I say I don't give a fuck about none of that is because, honestly, when it's all said and done, niggas say that shit a lot when their teams lose. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. Like, niggas, like, come on, bro. Like, come on, listen, bro. Like, listen, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck, man. The motherfucking, even the year where the Cavs won the championship, the Warriors was, was 73 games, nigga. Just because Draymond Green wasn't in the lineup, you mean to tell me that Steph Curry and Klay Thompson can't shit on LeBron, Kyrie, they them, they them niggas, right? They the best players in the league. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, man, niggas crazy. So as soon as we win the two games, we tie that shit up going to game seven. You seeing all that shit talk about niggas saying this rig, or Aisha Curry saying this rig, all that dumb ass shit. Like, you feel me? Like, shut up, bro. It ain't, my, it ain't our fault that y'all niggas chunked it up. It ain't niggas' fault. Niggas got to just take that on the chin. You see you see a one team that kind of took it on the chin, and I respect, for real, this is a team I really respect. The Denver Nuggets, right? Let's be what I'm saying. Like, people, I'm saying real quick before we get into this shit. Like, they lost. They no, they came back from a three one deficit on, on the Clippers, right? They came back from a three one deficit on the Clippers. Then they ain't been right since. They lost in the first round. Lost in the first round. Now they looking like they're the best team in the motherfucking West again, in a four or five year span. Like them niggas still working. Them niggas still feeling, still churning. I respect that shit. Like, niggas gotta keep churning in this motherfucker, man. Okay, speaking of the fix, this ain't to the end of the post fans. These are to the powers that be, all people be watching. It's a conspiracy. And if it is, I'm cool with letting whoever y'all wanna make the president <coughs> to let the Browns win the Super Bowl. I'm cool with that because we're gonna be celebrating to the next president. So, make that happen. You know what I'm saying? This nigga trying to steal this nigga. All right. I'm trying to put my beard in this now. Nigga still in my shit, man. I already told that nigga I was gonna say that shit. It's too early. I said I was gonna wait. I, 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 man, nigga, crazy, man. All right, it's all good, man. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just saying, nigga. I really wasn't was, was gonna say that for real. I ain't gonna fake it. When you talked about that shit, this nigga, this nigga beat me to it, man. That shit was a funny one. That was it. We was talking about that shit. We won the championship that, that year. Man, sure. And I was talking it before. So, no. Mm. If What's the fix is, I'm trying to fix the fix if y'all can make that happen. Oh, shit. I guess, nigga. <laughs> I already know what it is. I, I really would love to see the Browns in the Super Bowl like next year. That would be nice for my soul. You know what I'm saying? Because our soul hurts as, as Browns fans. It hurts. I want the Browns had every day. And we ain't been to the playoffs since we had Baker fucking Mayfield. 
it, it, it fucks my stomach up. It, it makes me it makes me sad side. Okay, now hold on, man. Let me see this show a picture of this nigga. This nigga, this nigga, biggest fuck. Carlos Boozer. Yeah, man. Like, man, they had Darren Williams out there too. I think. This nigga Richard Jefferson was playing out there. Hey, didn't somebody tell us Darren Williams was a top tier player? I don't think Darren Williams played. My bad. Oh. DK Metcalf won MVP though. Team, De- um, Team Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade's team won. On, uh, the, 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 they had to the celebrity, they shoot from yeah, every spot. Little. No, it was a celebrity game. Oh, okay. D. Wade was the coach of the team. I think it was D. Wade versus, um, I think, I think Fat Jefferson, I think. All right, let me I mean, up. the coach, wouldn't you think the D Wade team would win against Fat Joe? I mean, I guess. I don't, well, I guess. I mean, I guess, though. I don't know. Like, at the end of the day, you know they all, you know what I'm saying? And while he's checking that out, we've been brought to you by Red Strike. I mean, shit, my bad. <laughs> My bad, nigga. All right. Now I'm about to pull this shit up. So it was Team, I think it's Team Parker Saw. Oh, yeah. Versus, um, come on, it's coming up. Hold on, it's coming up. I remember some of them coaches. It, it was Parker Saw. Uh, no, not Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas had a team? Or was that last year? Oh, yo, yo, Joe 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 Noah. Yeah, you, you knew Paul Gasol team was going to be Joe Kim Noah team. Like, come on, Joe Kim Noah, nigga. I mean, he was a great assist man. <laughs> I ain't trying to talk about his suck ass. Fuck that guy. What is it to do with Cleveland? Nigga, shut your ass up. Get beat by the Cavs every time y'all cover this motherfucker. That's what y'all had. To, that's what you was doing. Talk about what is it to do with Cleveland? Get your ass whipped on the basketball court, nigga. That's what it is to do, nigga. Your fool ass, nigga. But see, this the whole thing. I I ain't liked about this rise and start. You know they just switched the shit into like three games. Yeah, it's like a tournament. Yeah, it is like whoever get the most, whoever end up with the most points. Points at the end. Yeah. What I can say is that they, it's looking like that to us. They just trying to buy career this stuff for these younger generation. Yeah. They, they, they gotta have extra rules with their sports stuff. Extra incentives. Hey, five, <coughs> four and five pointers would uh, change the NBA. All right. All right, so this was who this was who was on Team Pop, and this is who won Team Pop. They had Van Carroll, Benedict Montrin for the Pacers, yeah. Jaden Ivey, Scotty Barnes, Joe uh, Jose Alvaron, Alvaron, yeah, Keely Murray, and Andre and um, Andrew Nim Nimhar Nimhar Nimhar. You know they've been balling. They've been balling, and this been and this was Team Darren though. It's team Darren Williamson. I'm gonna name everybody team. This is Team Darren Williamson. He had um, he had Frank Wagner, Io. No, he did. He had Jalen Green, Afria Shagan, Trey Murphy, AJ Griffin, Bones Highland. And Walker Kessler for the Jazz. This is a second year player. Hey man, so. look, we don't be knowing these foreign people names. And they four. <laughs> so. And it was team not team joke game door, right? Yeah. Evan Mobley, Josh Giddy, Jalen Williams, Jeremy Sokan. The uh, the uh, the fake little Jeremy Sokan, the fake motherfucker the, <coughs> the little new age did his robin man. 
Tell you to oh, be having a little yeah, purple yeah, hair, yeah, pink hair, yeah, shit. Yeah, I know who you talking hey, about. Hey, nigga, that. Hey, man. New Age just robbing, man. I'm telling you. Jeremy Sokan. Why do I tell you that? That motherfucker. That little motherfucker, man. We get into it. We get into it. All right. Quentin Grimes, Jabari Smith Jr., and, um, and Tari Eason was on the Rockets, but he was replaced for Jalen Duran. I, for, I forgot where Jalen Duran played for. And then this is all the G League. There's all the G League people and shit. All the cats for the G League. I ain't about to say that these niggas names. <laughs> but how many, I mean, them, how many of them in English? A, a lot of them, but I ain't saying none of them. Except for my boy Mac McCluckin. Mac McCluck. Then yeah, Mac McCluckin. He gonna be in a duck contest tonight. He about to be in a duck contest tonight. Hey man. Yeah, it was yesterday. That's crazy. How that shit just slid. But I'm telling you, damn man, why I'm telling you predictions, bro. I might have to go on motherfucking DraftKings or something. I think that nigga back McGluck McGluckin, McGluckin, McCluckin, whatever, nigga. He went in the duck contest tonight, nigga. Who went in the duck contest? Nigga, he went in that bitch, nigga. <laughs> hey nigga. Hey niggas got me fucked up, nigga. I gotta I gotta watch that shit tonight. He went in that bitch tonight, bro. That little nigga winning that bitch tonight, bro. I swear to God, he winning that bitch tonight. Niggas got me fucked up, nigga. He winning that bitch tonight, nigga. He winning that bitch tonight. You got Trey Murphy the third, King and Martin son, Jericho Sims, and Mac McCluckin. That nigga, man, he that white boy winning the duck contest, bro. Well, I'm telling you that white boy winning the duck contest, nigga. Put your money on that nigga. I'm about to put 30 on that nigga, man. I'm about to come up, bro. I'm about to put 30 on that white boy, man. I swear that 30 gonna turn to like $400. I'll put 30 on that nigga, man. I got $30 on FanDuel for that nigga, Mac McCluckin. You ever see the little nigga duck before? Man, hold on. Man, see, that's what I said, man. We, we, we got to turn this shit up because this we we do a podcast, but this is like a sports talk show or whatever. But I be wanting to just be like, look at this shit. Hit, hit the button and that shit. You see it when we see it. You feel me? So you can be like, nigga, look at this shit. What the fuck? You see what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Okay. Wow, hold on. That little nigga got hops, bro. That little boy got hops. Man, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on, bro. We play ball. Sixers. That's him right there. Look, man, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> that white boy went in the junk contest, bro. I ain't trying to hear what nobody got to say. I ain't trying to hear what none of you niggas got to say. Bruh, I'm about to put this cash on this nigga. I'm about to show the motherfucking the motherfucking um ticket that I played that bitch, this nigga and like it's gonna be a winner. I ain't gonna show you how much I got for it or nothing, but it's gonna be a winner chicken dinner. Y'all niggas is crazy, nigga. Y'all that don't know to be honest, why that nigga about four eleven, and he punching out oh, whoever he catching it, Uber it, he catching it. He oh, winning man. that bitch, bro. Yeah, he, he, he about to win that bitch, he probably, bro. Well, he probably, he, he like, he like, maybe. But Troy, like, but, but Trey Murphy, uh, he, all uh, right. They were like, I don't know, man. Even King and Martin, like, this is all I asked, man. Last year, y'all, that nigga Cole Anthony fucked it up for y'all niggas, man. Because he came out there with the puck ass Timberland boots on, trying to dunk with his daddy old jersey on. Hey, listen, King and Martin. Junior. Don't, don't let your son do that to you, kid. Man, you, bro. listen, do not wear your dad jersey. Do not do none of that shit. Do your own thing, man. Just try to block it out. Try to make dunks, please, y'all. Let's make these dunks, man. Let's make dunks tonight. 
Like, let's make dunks. I mean, but what you really expect from the dunk contest? Nah, no, yeah, Aaron I'm, Gordon was the last one. Man, but them niggas, even back before then, them niggas used to at least make dunks. There wasn't a lot of niggas that was missing dunks. I mean, like, you got all four of them niggas missing, like, four dunks, five dunks before they make one dunk, bro. Like, bro, like, that's like, you, like, we played it on 2K and I ain't know how to do it. You like, bro, you gotta hit X and Y at the same time. You know, you know what I'm saying? You, you keep fucking it up. You, you keep fucking it up. You keep fucking it up. So you doing it over and over and over. After a while, they gonna tell you, hey, bro. They gonna tell you. No, no, no. You ain't gonna quit. They gonna tell you, no, bro, your, your turn is over. Like, <laughs> like, stop, bro. You ain't gonna keep doing this shit. All right? Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down, bro. But yeah, so. Yeah, he, he, he went there. How you know we going next? As long as he ain't missing. Who know we going next, bro? Three point. So, I mean, honestly, as crazy as it sounds, bro, the three point contest really in the past five, six years has become the more interesting and entertaining part of All Star Weekend more than the dunk contest. As of late, because the three-point shot is more NBA than the dunk is. Yeah. Hell yeah, Pimp. Go ahead, Pimp. We pied to that, dude. We pied to this motherfucker. I grew up in a generation where people shoot jumpers. Reggie Miller was shooting motherfuckers' lights out, but his poster wasn't on anybody's wall. Hell no. Shaq Poster was because he was ducking on the Michael Poster was, Charles Barkley on Poster on was, Carl Malone Poster was, David Robinson Poster was. Julius Irvin Poster was. Because they was dunking on niggas. Yeah. Larry Bird wasn't a lot of pictures either. Right. Kareem Charles Barkley was on some pictures. Right. Kareem and Dude Bird. Ain't nobody, don't nobody want a poster of a nigga who look like he in the ballet stands. <laughs> that's, that's all they look like. Damn, with the three pointer, man. Shout out to Stefan on the curve. I bet you they got posters in it now. Yeah. Niggas with the release. You don't even know if the nigga made that bitch in the poster. You doing a dunk. You can see exactly what happened in the dunk. They caught the perfect snapshot where it came through the rim. Three pointers, you just see the nigga. You can, man, you can make a nigga look like a star if you just take the highlights of them shooting. That's so crazy. I'm trying to figure out. Because they only showed me, I know it was like eight. They only showed me five. So eight I'm people to, uh, Yeah, three I know it's five. Alright, so. We got. Damian Lillard. Jason Tatum. Buddy Hill, I'm gonna let the dive so far. Buddy Hill will shoot for three today. They say win. They say Dame the favorite at um, plus thirty. At plus three hundred twenty-five, he the favorite right now in the three-point contest. So if you bet a hundred dollars, you are gonna basically get like three twenty for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Buddy Hill is at a plus four twenty, and then Tatum is like at a plus seven hundred. Um, they got who else in it? They got Lori Marketing plus six fifty, Julius Randle is in here as well. Come on, why Julius Randle, bro? I mean, bruh, okay. <laughs> That's why I was like, man, they, they losing me with this one. The, the, the three-point contest has been cool the past couple of years. Now you losing me. You got Julius Randle with that bitch. Just because he been hitting threes this year. Like, he been hitting spot-up threes. That don't, man, stop it, bruh. Come on, man, stop it. He um, Kevin, okay. Kevin Herter at plus 600. Tyler Hero and um, Tyrese Halliburton. From the um, from the Pacers, um, I 
three damn dollar one win that bitch though. He's a J- either damn dollar or JT Jason Tatum is gonna win that three point contest. I think damn dollar gonna win it for sure. I think damn dollar yeah, like Kevin Herter, he is a good shooter. But, um, I mean, but Lori Barkin is in this shit, too. Lori Barkin is a dark horse, though. Lori Barkin is a dark horse. I can, say that. I, can, I can say I can agree with that. Lori but I feel Barkin like, shit, fuck it. You might as well fuck it, man. I'm mad as fuck Lori it, man. I'm, is, is a, I'm going for Lori Barkin, bro. <coughs> That's who I would have with it. Fuck it. Lori Barkin about to win that bitch because they hear Utah. <coughs> Fuck it. It's <coughs> the last little hoo ride they go have. <coughs> they see he's about to go down here so they can get number one pick. Let that nigga win that three point contest, man. Fuck it. I'll change my mind. No, Dave. I'm going to put my money on Lurie Market in the winning. Fuck it. What's you still betting on, Dave, right? You going to bet on Lurie? What's the odds? What's, what, what does it look like if he wins? Shit. Plus 900, so. To make this loss, plus 900, so. That's if. That's eighty dollars if you like. Like eighty dollars would be like three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like a long, long shot. The higher the points is, that's the the higher the odds is. That's how you. You know what I'm saying? More likely this this shit ain't happening. All right, so then fuck it, we gonna go to the skills uh, skills challenge next. Shout out to the Cavs. Did, 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 did we win last year? Because it was a Cleveland last year, right? Also, I guess? Yeah. I was the mayor playing basketball. Yeah, but we but we won the skills challenge, though, right? Our so. team did win the skills challenge, right? Sorry. All right, so you got team out of the Kupo. You feel me? Like, 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 this team out of the Kubo shit, like, whoever was the top of the East is they team, da, da, da. But it was team Cavs versus team out of the Kubo versus, because he was, the, he was the, uh, the one that picked the team. Yeah. Shit crazy, man. No, um. So, they got team out of the Kubo with Giannis, Titus, and Alex. You got team Jazz, they'll probably win it with Cole, with Kyle Sexton. Jordan Carson and um, Walker Kessler, and then you got team rookies with uh, Van Carroll, Jaden Ivey, and Jabari Smith Jr. So you know it's a team relay, team passing, the team shooting. So they all got to, they all have to do it in order. They all have to attempt, and the points they have at the end. So do you want to see the? So do you want to see the betting odds on on this? It's odds on this shit too. It's odds on everything. 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 Dude. It's odds on everything. Now who you think is the favorite? Man, T. I mean, for what the skills challenge? On the G's, bro, it could be a toss up between the rookies and and the Jazz. What about the Tico balls? I mean, but Giannis got his finger injury. Yeah, that's that's the right. I I mean, I feel him though. He's still young. He ain't thirty yet, is he? No. What do you like? Twenty seven, twenty eight? I think he might be like twenty eight, maybe. Well, so Giannis got only a couple more years of this, um, of this, um, like, incredible Hulk shit, bro. You're gonna have to sit down for a second. And really try to foot the heel. You only got a few times, bro. Yeah. A few more times to keep doing that. But, um, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, with him injured, though, I don't think, like, you know what I'm saying? They definitely not winning. Because he gonna be Howard. He's not, they loser. Put your money on the Jazz or the Rookies. Money on the Jazz or the rookies? I'll probably put them on the Jazz. Fuck it. I'm just saying this. I feel like for real, for real, minus the dunk contest, bro. This should be a highlight for Utah, Salt Lake City. They'll have their moment tonight with the skills challenge and the three point competition. I think the Jazz will win both of those. 
There's no jazz people in the dunk contest, so it's fair to say nobody for the jazz gonna win the dunk contest, but I feel like the skills challenge and the three point jazz players gonna win it because it's like they're trying to give them a little something for this. You know what I'm saying? This 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 they season right here. This they season, even, bro. Even even if that's the script. The script. That's a good little script. When you go into the hometown, show the people some love. Let their little all stars get a little shine. Yeah. I'm just saying, fuck it. I'm about to put the money on them. They're going to the dance. They're not going to no dance, bro. I've been told you the fix was in on that, nigga. But they started off trying to look like we. Don't count us out. All right. So, speaking of um, don't count niggas out, right? All right. So, what so what are we saying we, we approaching now with the NBA season? Like, uh, um. Just like the stretch run after the All Star break, just the stretch run, just work playoff. Your kicks, work your kicks out. But this, but this basically for playoff supremacy though, or playoff like positioning. Yeah. Like people are really starting to play for playoff positioning after the All Star break. After the All Star break. So let's just get into the standards real quick. All right, Celtics number one at. 42 and 17. Bucks are 41 and 17. Sixers are 38 and 19. Cavs are 38 and 23. The Brooklyn Nets are 24. I mean 34 and 24. The New York Knicks are 33 and 27. The Miami Heat is 32 and 27. The Hawks, that's the eighth seed, 29, 30. Washington Wizards, that ninth seed, 28-30. I mean, this shit sounds like the West. And that's it, right? Because ain't no 11th seed. So that's just the 10th seed. That's just the 10th seed. That's the 10th seed right there. Oh, no, no. The Raptors, yeah, so it was one more. And the Raptors are 28-31 and 31 at the 10th seed. That's it. That's the top 10 teams right now in the East. We got the Celtics, Bucks, oh, yeah, Sixers, Cavs, Nets, Knicks, Heat, Hawks, Wizards, Raptors. No, on this though, we what? We four. four. Yeah. What I'm saying is this. I'll play the Nets without Kyrie and KD. I just ain't want to play the Nets with both of them niggas on the team. But in the playoffs, first round against the Nets, hell yeah, yeah, I'll play them without no man, nigga. <laughs> what? And we got whole court advantage too, nigga. What? But sure. Man, we're about to smack these niggas at six. <laughs> we gonna smack them niggas at six at the crib. What are you talking about, man? We ain't playing with niggas. We gonna get to that second round for sure. Four. You know who? And four. We ain't about to sweep nobody out there, man. I don't know, man. Like, from what I seen, like, listen, bro. Like, the Sixers was smacking <coughs> us about 30 points before they end the All Star break. That was what? Today's Saturday, so that was, I think, Wednesday's game. I think that was Ray's birthday. Shout out to Ray. You know what I'm saying? Happy late birthday Happy to you, Ray. Happy birthday, pal. But, yeah, though. Know, but I talked to him and shit, but still, that's what I'm saying. Like, Castle getting beat by 30. They came back, lost by 60. They just get smacked by 30, though, bro. I mean. I know it was just a game in February, but it's like shit. When it comes to the East right now, do we going to go to the West? Do we going to kind of. You know what I'm saying? Pivot it off, you know what I'm saying? Talk about something else and shit. It's like, I feel like right now, it's like the stretch shit, so... It's like... Is it... Can, can the Cavs make it to the Eastern Conference Finals for real? Can they? That's the question. The real question is, from what I see this year, I don't know if the Cavs can give me two quality role wins in the playoffs versus the Celtics or Bucks if they have to play either or in a playoff round. I just don't, like a key game, like let's just say they win both games at the crib, the Celtics win the game and shit. You feel me like, I'm just saying bro, it's, it's so many, like I haven't seen them in that, in that element. And then when they be in the element in the season, it's like, it's hit or miss. 
Cavs are way better at home than they are on the road. They need to be a little bit better on the road if if I think the Cavs will get to an Eastern Conference Finals, let alone the NBA Finals, whatever they're going to get to. You know what I mean? that? But is it just what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm be honest. I don't see that either. I, I, I feel like they can pull some games off at home. Maybe it's a second round, bro. Yes. Evan Mobley, man, is low key ascending though, slowly but surely. And Evan Mobley, for real, in the East. He like a more he like a hybrid bam. He like a little bit more slender. He but he kind of he He's like bam. In a like sense. He like bam in a sense. Mm -hmm. He can hit the jumper. He can really defend the paint. He can help Allen defend the paint, and then you can play small and have him and have shooters on the floor with him as a center. If it boils down to it, you can play small. They see the Cavs been trying that out a little too much in the season. I don't know like. The regular season to me, people say it don't matter. I guess it don't matter. You feel me? I guess it don't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Niggas get paid millions of dollars to pay the regular season. But it don't matter. But okay. You feel me? Like, to each his own. To each his own. But, but still, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's all about momentum when it comes to these playoffs and shit. And we rounding off. Um, just on a side note, you know what I'm saying? Next Sunday after the show, Saturday, next Saturday, next Sunday and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas going, niggas, me and Bay about to slide in that rocket and shit. Me and Bay about to slide in that rocket. Let's see the Cavs play the Toronto Raptors. Right there at the rocket and shit. You know what I mean? Right. So we, so we outside. You know what I'm saying? The post podcast definitely going to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be in this motherfucker, man. I'm going to be trying to do my little thing. This bitch over there. Hopefully, baby, cool. I don't know. She talk about you bring anybody, but I don't know. I, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to fall for the traps, man. It's a lot of traps out here. You can't. You can't fall for them. Like, cause I know. Cause I know. If, I, if we don't go, it's gonna be an issue, bro. I just I know. Care of the world. Yep. I might as well deal with the issues I got to deal with to create new issues. You feel me? That makes sense. But all right, we're back to the. We're back to the shit. We're back to the shit. Man, it's crazy. I mean, as far as the, I, 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 I know that they wouldn't, with KD and uh, Kyrie, I know they wouldn't gonna beat the uh, Nets. Yeah. But they was, they scrappy enough to try. That's some shit that I'm willing to let them go to. You feel me? Yeah. Willing to let them see. Uh, so maybe they, they come back next year like, y'all, y'all, y'all like that good? Fuck y'all. But, 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 yeah, yeah, because, hey, you want to know what's so crazy about what you just said, though, man? It's because it's a, it's a, it's a good draft. It's like, it's young players. It's like, all right. it's not no, we brought a superstar. Right. We, like, we put all the money, like, listen, like, they put a collection of players together. Like, none of the players that they drafted when they drafted them, it was like, oh, they was a savior. But all these people together, with the, with, did you put the Donovan Mitchell in that piece? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, you know what I'm saying, we're going to see what's good, but we on this west side, man, where's, you know, we on this west side, you feel me, yeah. and, um, alright, this is how I'm going to start this shit, though, alright, now, since it's still February and shit, you know what I'm saying, we can still talk about teams, it's not in the top team, <laughs> man, hey, listen, man, before we get, we get this shit really going cool, I did not know that this nigga Brown was gonna take a week off after he broke the motherfucking record, bro. I didn't know it. I ain't know that's what he's about to do. <laughs> like I wish, I wish somebody would have gave me a memo would have would have hit me with the text and be like, "Hey, Gail, what's that nigga break that record, bro? He chilling, bro. He he reaping the benefits for him for a little bit, bro. Yeah, he, he, gonna be, he going on a tour. He gonna talk yeah. to people. He gonna do his little thing. He gonna long bones popping. He gonna do his little thing. He gonna chill. He gonna reflect." He gonna be with Faye, he gonna celebrate. So then he gonna come back ready after he celebrated shit. So he came back the last game of the season. They did what they did though. But peep though, all right. Now I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the ten. But then when I'm at the ten, you know what I'm saying? This how this how. That's why you wanna talk about the people past ten. Uh, like 
uh, uh, this really just it's really two teams, really honestly. I'm gonna be honest. I want to talk about two team. teams. That's pa- I want to talk about two teams as past ten that should get into the top ten. And I'm gonna talk about two teams that's in the top ten that's, that the that's way they've been it. playing. I that's do not it. think that they're gonna stay in the top ten. I just don't think so. But okay, let's let's get into it. All right, Nuggets forty one and eighteen. They number one. Grizzlies thirty five and twenty two. Mm-hmm. The Kings, Sacramento Kings, thirty two and twenty five. The Clippers, your Clippers, your Clippers, trying to for your Clippers. Yeah, they're trying to sign Russell Westbrook. Your Clippers, thirty three and twenty eight. The Suns, KD ain't played a game yet. Devin Booker played, he back, but they win no KD. He they thirty two and twenty eight. Excuse me. The new Luca and Kyrie marriage. They're thirty nine and twenty nine. The Pelicans are thirty and twenty nine. The Timberwolves are thirty one and thirty, and the Warriors, um, reigning NBA champions, are twenty nine and twenty nine at night. They're twenty nine and twenty nine. Five hundred. The Thunder. It's twenty eight and twenty nine. Now. Is that the 10? Yeah, that's a 10. It's now, these, it's these people, are these people, you talk about past 10. You say you're talking about, are they 11 and 12? No, we're talking about 12 or 13. Thank Not 11 or 12. 12 or 13. 11 is the Jazz. We already know where the Jazz going to go. They still going. They're not, they're not going to get no top 10. They're not getting no play. They trying to get out of 11. They're not getting no play in, bro. They're not getting no play in, bro. Jazz not getting to the play and they try to get victory out while I study, bro. They're going for the worst record. No, they're not. Because they're not going to be the worst record. There's Pete out of. They play like 57 games. They only got like 30 games left, like less than 30. They're already like 29 and 31 with the Jazz. At the end of the day, there's no way that the Rockets or the Spurs is winning 20 games, 25 games this year. The Spurs nor the Rockets is winning 25. Now the Lakers, they won 27 games. Out of the next 26, really to be honest, now let's get it night. All right. So Thunder, they 28-29. They 12 games out of the, they 12 games out of the, the Lakers are two games back from them. And for real, for real, there are two games back from them, and there are three and a half games back from the sixth seed. Four and a half games back from the fifth seed. Yeah, because they bunch stuff like that. It's, the, it's just that gap between the Nuggets. It's not. It's only really a five game gap between the Nuggets and the Grizzlies. It's five yeah, game but gap. That, like on the East, there ain't no gaps like that. No, no gap. No type of gap like that. Yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? The Cavs are like five games back. And the, um, the Tennessee seed is 14 games back. On the West, the 13th, that's the that's the 10th team is 14 games back. In the West, the 13th team is 14 games back. The 13th one. So, yeah. It's a little tighter over there in that West. All the all niggas gotta do is win some games, man. Brian gotta play, AD gotta play. I like these new pieces some, they got. Some gotta you know what I'm saying? 2018 ish. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't gonna go to the finals though. I don't think that the Lakers go to no fucking finals. I just they. That's being man. <laughs> that's being too greedy, man. <clears throat> to me, that's being real too greedy, bro. That's being a little too greedy. That ain't being realistic. No, that's being greedy, like, cause I already packed my homes already one two back. We two of them we got we <laughs> and we outside. So then with so then with these niggas be a thirteenth bread it's basically looking trash the whole season. All of a sudden it turned up and get to the finals in. I don't even give a fuck. They would it nigga you get to the finals So that one. I'm going crazy. Like what year twenty? Fuck it. No, he gotta win that whole fuck it. He gotta win that whole fuck. But y'all niggas like to twist my takes and shit. I am not predicting that the Lakers are going to the championship and winning it. I'm not predicting. It, just, but I'm telling you, that's too greedy for me to predict it. That's why I'm not predicting. Anybody said they're gonna make it. It's too greedy. 
They're gonna make it in the playoffs. They in the playoffs, bro. Lakers in the playoffs. They're gonna be a top six seed in the playoffs, bro. No, no, no. Two, no. To what I was saying, the t- and we were talking about, and the Blazers as well, right? I believe that the Blazers is a top ten team in the in the West, right? Yeah. The Pelicans and the Thunder with a dark horse being the Timberwolves are three teams that are in the candidacy for me to not to cut. make the play. They're, they 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 might not. They should not. Like. Like, with the Pelicans, the problem with the Pelicans is this. They got a lot of good players, but without Zion in the middle, without Zion out there playing Zion on a consistent basis, they're not as good. They need Zion Wilson. I like C.J. McCullum. I like Brandon Ingram. But, but if not. they want to contend in the playoffs, they want to contend for a championship, they need Zion Wilson. Yeah. Like, without Zion Wilson out there with those players, they're just – you know what I mean? They're just floating 10. They're floating. Top 8 floating. Like, I don't think they're going to make it. I just don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Like, they ain't been looking too good. And it's because Limbo, you don't know when Zion coming back. And the Thunder, I think they got a lot of young players. But all Lakers got to do, they got, Lakers, Lakers could do some slight shit. Five game win streak. I just want to start with that. Like, for me to really start putting my stock in and seeing Brian do some shit in the playoffs, all this shit I'm talking about right now, like, even getting to the playoffs, like, I need, like, five straight games from these niggas, bro. I need, like, five wins. I need, like, five straight wins. I don't give a fuck if LeBron balling all the time. I don't give a fuck if AD. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I need five straight wins for the Lakers after the All-Star break. Five straight. Brian don't do too much crazy shit in this fucking All-Star game, man. Chill. Sit your dumb ass back. You better, you better, you better, um, shit. Man, who you gonna pick up, man? He gonna have to pick up, he probably gonna pick up Kyrie. And he gotta pick up probably, he probably gonna try to pick up Kyrie and Ja or some shit. And, and, like, LeBron might pick Kyrie and Ja. But you, you hip to this new shit they talk about, though? Like, they talk I, about, they talk about now. Every time I figure out what they The mean, NBA on some bullshit. Year, bullshit. But they on some bullshit. They talk about that them niggas gotta pick the bitch before they pick their starters, nigga. What type of shit the NBA on? Man, NBA on some, on some fuck shit. And they on some fuck shit, bro. Hey, bro. They on some fuck shit. Bro, you better sit your ass back, nigga. I'm telling you, nigga. You better you sit your ass back. first. Right. What? Like, you can't pick... Like, you pick it out of the... You pick the first players that he they pick it is out of the reserves. And then you pick the starters. Like, what? That's stupidity, bro. They want to make sure everybody play. I guess that's the I guess that's the uh, inclusiveness. Yeah, I guess that's the recipe, man. Huh? That's I guess the only. That's the recipe. That's the only thing. What's? I don't know. Why. That, that don't make no other sense to me. You, people came in there with a plan. Man, that shit crazy. If you pick him, I'm getting him. He, no, it, 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 no, that's not that's the door. <laughs> that way you got to worry about the people that you be like, well, all right. All right, all right come on. All right, now, before we like way slide on this NBA shit, shout out to K-Love. Um, he just got bought out by the Cavs. He just got finalized a few hours ago. Shit. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Thanks Firmers. for all the love. Yeah. But, 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 let's be real here, man. I got shot out Kevin Love because, bro, you stepped through it, man. Yeah. Like, they had your ass in the trash can, bro. In, yes. in the finals, they had a, I had a, I had a poster of you in the trash can, bro. You helped the Cavs with the finals. You did the stop. And then you still was here. You nurtured the young niggas. You got the young niggas on point. Like, I gotta give K Love credit, man. Like K Love, like at the end of the day, I was very critical of K Love, just like I was very critical of Chris Bosch at the beginning of this little big three super team shit that niggas was doing. But when it's all said and done, niggas have to give respect because this is a good player. Like Kevin Love is a great player. The front runners for him is um you talk about Miami, but Philly. But he not making no decisions till you talk to Philly. And 
That would be a slap in the face if I didn't go to Philly. I do not want Kevin Love to go to Philly. I do not. That is a dark horse team right there. And I'm going to say it's a dark horse team because, we gonna, you know what I'm saying, Kevin Love did the thing, just giving us flowers and shit, but in all honesty, the Sixers been looking good all year. Hold on, CEO joined. Oh, that nigga, my nigga. We're going to get into this shit real quick with this nigga too, but, but yeah, though, know, but the Sixers, bro. Hey, man. You're going to have to be, listen, at this point, bro, I don't know what to say. All I know is Kevin Love, you better not take your white ass to them, uh, <laughs> to the Sixers. You better go to Miami or something, my G, or the G's. You better go to Miami, bro. Please go to Miami or something. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Go to the Lakers or something. Don't do that. Don't do it. Not the Sixers. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Because he's going to be hitting all the threes with them niggas. Like, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> like, don't do it, nigga. They need him to space that floor out. Yeah, step over there. Come on over there. That's ain't that where he like to be over there? All right, all right. Try to keep a little man. You know what I'm saying? You did your day with the Cavs. Got a championship to stop. You feel me? Did your motherfucking thing. All right, in the building, man. We in the building now before we get the fuck up out of here and shit. Now, um, next week we gonna have the we gonna have the homie Harlem. I say Harlem shit. I'm high. Shit. Cool. Hulum CEO 400. I'm high though. But yeah. Hulum CEO 400 though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Anonymous. You know what I'm saying? That song is definitely on the In the Post pod playlist and shit. In the Post podcast playlist and shit. Definitely on that motherfucker. Well, I'm like, wait a little bit. though. Like, wait a little bit. Lady, right? Oh, shit. He gonna be in this motherfucker with niggas, man. We gonna, we gonna chop it up with him. Like, wait. Get into his inspirations and shit with made him start doing music and shit, you know what I'm saying? Get into some of the new shit we got going on. We definitely bring everybody into the world in the post and shit, so we probably be talking at all, we may talk all-star next week. I don't think the season, I think the season probably start back like next Thursday. Yeah. May talk about some of them games and shit, talk about his favorite teams, we fuck with and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A little sports bit, little shit, you know how we get up, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to let niggas know where we at, we in the post, man, in the building. We in the city, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere, anywhere, you feel me? Like, it's on everything. It's on Facebook, it's on Instagram, it's on Spotify, shit. YouTube, yeah. IG. Mm-hmm. Somebody stole our Twitter account. <laughs> the niggas on, I didn't even know we was on TikTok. He said, well, we on TikTok and shit. I'm like, on TikTok? Like that? Uh, well, yeah, we definitely on that link and shit. Everywhere. Yeah. So, 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 who, so, see you over being this bitch. Now, another thing I might want to ask him and shit, and I'm going to talk to you about this. We're going to talk about this a little bit before we get up out of here. Now, 216 day was Thursday, like, you know what I'm saying, February 16th. They had the show. Yeah, they had the show. They had the show uh, down at the House of Blues and shit. Uh, Chip. Yeah, Chip. Uh, Boss Bird. Mm hmm. Al Fats, Al Fats, Who Gutter, yeah. ABM, yeah. ABM officials. Uh, shit, it was a whole bunch of little A Rod, Corey Bates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Auntie Piggy, you know what I'm saying? Piggy was in that bitch. Um, I mean, the city was turned up from what I seen. You know what I mean? Like, from yeah. what I seen, the city was really lit. And I just feel like at the end of the day, the constant camaraderie is the reason why, to me, I feel like the city ain't really lit as they supposed to be lit. It's not the consistent camaraderie. It's the fact that niggas can come together for one for one day, for one thing, and then they gonna go right back to fuck these niggas and that. Instead of like, we're trying to be on a consistent shit or some little shit to really, you know what I mean? To really take the shit over. Like, I just feel like hopefully, I don't really know like, you know what I'm saying? I know a couple of cats, you know what I'm saying? Been, been, in, there, been in there with a couple of cats and shit. You know what I'm saying? You met more and shit. Marv pulled up before. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so, niggas got love for niggas though on the G. So, niggas just want to see niggas succeed. And I feel like in the city and shit, we got enough good shit for the whole city to succeed. Like, it's, it, it's crazy to me that 
I can see a new artist from Chicago like every couple of weeks, but we can't hear a new person from the city popping every couple of weeks. And everybody from the city is doing a lot of influential shit. People are stealing our shit, all that. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna say no names on these little mainstream artists that think they popping, especially some of these females. These females really be thinking they popping, these mainstream girls. I don't know. I don't know. Some of this shit just be kind of watered down. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the mainstream shit. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it is what it is. But, pull up CEO 400 next week. You're going to have to fly. Hopefully, man, hopefully, we're going to see what's going on. Pimp said he broke his phone and shit. So, hopefully, we're going to figure out how to get this motherfucking flyer and shit out we're, here. We're going to make this happen. We already know what the fuck going on, nigga. But, shit, I mean, that's about it, man. You know, we don't got no fucking outro. Shit, we ain't got no outro. Let me just cut this shit off. Just cut this shit off. with y'all niggas next week. Of CEO 400 gonna be in this motherfucker, man.